I'm happy these guys are looking amazing. There's hope, you know, where I thought there was none. There is much. You stick with them through wins and losses, and this is just another one of those losses. We are so back, Absolutely. better than ever. Hello again, everybody. It's Jacob Matthews here with Fango Media outside of SoFi Stadium for the Rams and Vikings game on Thursday Night Football. You said fuck the Rams, but y'all just lost. Ah, oh, you're mad because they lost. Losers. Y'all still got a losing record. I don't want to hear it. Save it. Oh. Um, anyways, they're still at the bottom of their conference. But right, no, yeah. I, I'm a big believer in my Vikings. I always have been. But it's just kind of like you stick with them through wins and losses and this is just another one of those losses. I actually really did not love that last face mask. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I think they should have acknowledged it. Yeah. It wouldn't have necessarily won the game, but I think right. it should have been acknowledged. I feel like a lot of penalties were kind of going against the Vikings way this game. Do you think that's the main reason why why you lost? Or are you kind of just like, it's it happens, it's the NFL, you lose. Uh, we're in LA, so you have to take that into account right, right? right we're not on the home turf this is not a stadium no. have you ever been to sofi stadium before i have um i'm a, actually a dual fan vikings and chiefs so i've been for a chiefs game before what i oh, know back up, back up, back up. <laughs> we gotta restart this whole thing now because <laughs> here i was thinking like you're a loyal I diehard am, and then I you am. went and dropped the chiefs like the most the most <laughs> the most like, are you a chiefs fan too why, why are you Chiefs fans? Is it a Taylor Swift thing? Like, what's the uh, deal? Ew. Oh. So, ew. No, don't, can't, don't, can't, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Uh, nobody's no, going to cancel you for that. Trust me. Thank you. I went to school in Kansas. So by way of that, I was a Chiefs fan too. Uh, okay. So dual fan from Minnesota. I went to school in Kansas. Had okay. to be. The Rams having Cooper Cup and Nakua back, that proves right. a lot. That proves a lot. Right. I think without, with the beginning of the season, with them being two and five, and then having Nakua and Cup coming back, that right. proves a lot. Are you worried that no, no that I'm, Darnold's going to turn I'm, into a pumpkin? Not, no, I, I think Darnold's is no. solid. I think Jay Jett is a solid. I think Addison is solid. I think I think we're solid as a team in our division, but it proves that no team can be no team can be like everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. We just need a championship in Minneapolis. Y'all been waiting for so long too. Such a loyal fan base. Hey, you want me to make you feel better though? Yeah. The, the 49ers last year won five straight and then at the beginning of the season then lost three in a row and then went to the Super Bowl. So this you is know true. so you know Are you a Brock Purdy fan? No, I'm actually you know, you're gonna find this funny. So I'm a Saints fan. I asked you. <laughs> so again, dangerous Midwest. Uh, no, I'm I'm uh I'm from Louisiana originally. Oh, so so I'm a Saints fan, technically. Okay. I moved out here and I'm just covering the Rams, you know, just interviewing fans. So, how does that feel? I mean, it's pretty, I love it out here. I love LA. Do you, I mean, you seem like you kind of maybe don't like it. You got a little Midwest, like, uh, you think Midwest is superior? You don't like the big cities, nothing like that? Uh, to us, I feel like Minneapolis is such a welcoming city and it right. feels authentic. The Rams surprised me tonight. They looked great, defense looked good. Um, and yeah. Cup and Nakua make a ton of difference Okay. on, on offense. As a Rams fan, I'm excited, man. I actually came expecting to be disappointed. I was fucking blown away, man. Puka and Cooper back in the same day. I'm happy these guys are looking amazing. Yeah. There's hope, you know, where yeah. I thought there was none. There is much. I know. There's a big difference between three and four coming off a big win and being two and five. Yeah. So I'm sure you feel good about that. I think they did a great job and this is my first Rams game I've been to really? and I had an amazing time. That's aw that's awesome, man. I'm glad you got to see the Rams come back and beat the Vikings in your first game. So did you like SoFi Stadium? You like the way better than the Houston Stadium. I think it needs to be said that people told me that <laughs> SoFi was the best stadium in the world and I find that borderline of <laughs> Do you think so? Do you think the Viking Stadium is the best? Is that? I don't. I think U.S. Bank is one of the best NFL stadiums, but in the world is a yeah, kinda... pretty big term. It felt like L.A. Eagles. <laughs> were you were you disappointed in Sam Darnold at all tonight, or are you kind of do you worry about that? Because like you know, Sam Darnold's a little skeptical. Do you worry at all, or I do worry. 
Um, because we have a history of like getting quarterbacks that get a little bit too in their head. Like yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. start doing good, and then like whether it's like the beginning of the game, we're going going good, and then like at the end, it starts falling apart. Right. That's kind of what he's giving. He looks I mean, a little scared. Y'all, y'all had Case Keenum. Y'all had all these quarterbacks that kind of just show off. Maybe that goes to show how many good players y'all got outside of it. I mean, so so do you still have hopes for the Super Bowl? Or are you kind of just like playoffs? <laughs> Playoffs is all I want. What do you What do you hey, hope? Vikings to the Super Bowl. If it's Vikings Chiefs, I'll take it. I'll okay. take it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, pretty much every go for the three feet. I mean, yeah, everybody pretty much accepts the Chiefs are going to yeah, be on the AFC true. side. The Rams are back. We didn't really look too good tonight, but the players that came back that were reactivated, I'm glad they showed up, and I'm glad they you know performed the way they were supposed to. Well, maybe you want a little higher standard because you're a fan, but personally, I think they stepped up their game tonight. I think they played well. What I saw from the Rams tonight, if Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua can stay healthy, they could really go on a run. How do you feel? You see, I, I totally agree with you. It depends on how much we're able to stay healthy. If we can stay healthy, we could do a solid run from the playoffs. But depending on that, it, it all depends on how many players we have, honestly. Right. If but we, you got to be excited to at least have a good offense again, right? Oh, yeah. First game back, we're beating a solid team in a solid division. So I can't, I can't complain about that at all. Okay. I mean, y'all started a little behind the eight ball, but I think y'all can make a comeback. Yeah, it took, it took a while for us to get in the game, but once we were in the game, we you know we took over. We scored a couple touchdowns, and after the end of the game, we won. You know, can't complain about that. You know, we kind of saw it from the winning side. Did, seeing the Vikings, were you, are you kind of like, ah, uh, Sam Darnold's about to turn back into a pumpkin, yeah. and they're going to start sucking again? Yeah, I thought that. I mean, they have they have J. Jeff, and he can do it all, but I, this team is not 5-1 and one good, so I think they got – they got yeah. taught a lesson today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now they're five and two, so they definitely got taught a lesson. We are so back, absolutely. better than ever. I mean, you got Cooper Cup back, you got Puka Nakua back. You think you're going to the Super Bowl now, huh? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe too soon. All I'll say is it's a completely different team. What two absolutely, players yeah. do one week from how we looked last week to this week. You know, similar to last season, tough start, but make a run. I think it's possible again. Absolutely. So, whose house is it? Rams house. I'm from Minnesota. Yeah, I came here I this tell. year. Wait, so you flew all the way out here? I did. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You seem. I'm not gonna lie. You seem pretty upset about the loss. Are you? Are you? Are you hoping that? Uh, do you think the Vikings are like gonna go on a downslope now? Now that they lost, that's two in a row now, or? Oh. I think so. Thanks for bringing it up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you. But you got five. You got a nice yeah. little runway at the beginning. You had five going in, and now. We did, and the right. Detroit game was so good. And honestly, people may dislike this, but I feel like for the Midwest to see the Lions do well, I feel like, dare I say it, it's better than the Packers doing well again. Yeah. So we're yeah. slightly, so in my opinion, supportive, and you have players on Detroit like Gibbs and whatnot. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to Fangirl Media. Click that notification bell so you won't miss out on my coverage of the Dodgers World Series game tomorrow night.